Spicer here, and this is Sky Factory 2, episode 2. Last episode, we grew a bunch of trees, and we um, made barrels, and we made a little bit of dirt, and we kept replanting trees. We made some silk and from the silk tree and got sh string, and then we also made a sieve. And in between episodes, I've made more barrels, made some chests, a bed and planted way more trees and I've made this what do you think about this what do you think about the railing the problem is when I'm walking down here sometimes I knock into the sides I think I might make it a bit bigger like that and um I just use carpenters blocks for the top with fences and slabs there and what I'm gonna put here is a mob trap a mob grinder but before we do that I'm gonna show you if anyone's played Sky Factory before, you'll know how hard it is to get dirt. I've been busy. I've gotten a whole stack of dirt. That's right. But before we sieve that, we're going to sieve that. I'm going to make that mob grinder so those um, mobs can be spawning while we're doing that sieving. Um, so I'm just going to make one of those basic mob mob um, grinders where you just make a two by whatever so I'm going to place slabs down so mobs can spawn here now oh that was close two by whatever number this is and then we're also going to place blocks on top of here so mobs can still spawn here and then we're gonna build this thing just put that there so I can jump up now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go like that actually no we're not we're gonna build three blocks up actually I'll do that again three block, four blocks up actually I'll put that as a bottom slab instead so mobs don't spawn on top then we'll go like this use those slabs I just do it on the other side. Make some more slabs. Okay, now that we've got this, we're gonna get just normal blocks. We're gonna build down like this much and I'm gonna break that block up there and then we're gonna place slabs up there after and then we're gonna place slabs here okay Turns out we actually can place slabs here and we can walk under it, but we just can't place it right above us when we're under it, so we have to step back and then place them. Now that's completely dark and mobs can spawn in it. If we go... Well, that's a lot of trees. If we go 24 blocks away, they should start spawning. But, now... I actually think it's about time that we get tools, so I'm going to get started with tinkers. Because I'm pretty sure I've heard that you can't make tools. Just generally make tools in a crafting table. I'll try it anyway, but I doubt you can. We get these sticks and go like that. And I get an axe. You can make it, but oh, it does work. Okay, never mind. 
I thought they wouldn't work. Or maybe it's stone tools and stuff you can't make. But anyway, it doesn't matter. I can use this. That's great using this, so much easier. Well, that was used up quick. Just make two more. What the heck? Ooh, I forgot about that. Options. Sorry about this, guys, but I have to do it. Options. Peaceful. Okay. Now, I need to change that. I'm gonna sleep. Oh, and I, if I didn't mention, I got water in the barrels. It rained. So I got water. In future, I won't change it to peaceful, but if it was something like my mob farm, but if it's like just generally mob spawning because I didn't light up a spot, then I I won't do this. So just gonna place that down, place that down. Okay, and we're just gonna have to place slabs down. So the mobs don't spawn up here. Because there's nowhere else in the whole map that mobs can spawn, they are going to be forced to rapidly spawn in this mob farm. Just going to break these. Okay. There's no mobs in there. But you can go over here and hopefully mobs can spawn. Now, now we can start sieving. I'm going to start sieving this dirt. I'm actually going to enclose this so none of the dirt goes away. Sieve safely. So I'm going to take this stack of dirt and we're going to sieve it and I'll show you what we get if you haven't seen this already. We got five stone and what we can do with this stone is we can put it in a 2x2 two two pattern and it makes cobblestone. So we're going to... We can get all different types of stuff with this and I will see you when I'm finished um, saving all this. Okay, I'm almost done. 
And there's, my inventory is full, so I can't pick up those seeds there. But I'll go empty it in a second. Oh, there. There we go. Okay, let's see what we got. We got an acorn, which is an oak tree sapling. Whoops. Acacia seed, which is an acacia sapling. Cash, um, carrot seeds, grass seeds, grass seeds you place down and it turns a dirt block into a grass block. Birch seeds, which is a birch sapling. Seeds, which is just normal seeds from Minecraft. Pumpkin seeds, which is pumpkin seeds. Sugarcane seeds, when you place that down, it places a piece of sugarcane down. Melon seeds, you know what that is. And this much stone. Watch this, guys. In the second episode, we got 58 cobble. I know I did a lot off camera, but still, that's pretty good. Okay. And now, what we are going to do with this cobble is we're going to break that down with something, and I'll show you what happens when we do that. Okay, there's nothing there. Really want something to spawn. I think it needs to. If we go F9, I think. No, not F9. F7. There. Stuff should be able to spawn there. Ooh, I should break this. this stuff and spawn there. So it should be spawning there. It's 24 blocks away. One. There's enough space. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nine, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. At least 24 blocks. There. Some reason it's not spawning. I should put slabs on top of here. So nothing spawns. Okay, but I really want something to spawn. Now what we can make is we can go here and we can make a hammer. You can do this with wood, but I'm gonna do it with cobblestone because I can. And you can get cobblestone you can place it down just place it down that much and you can vein mine of this and what you get is gravel and you can see gravel but if you break down that again then you'll get sand and if you break down sand again you'll get dust. And you can see all three of those things, but we're just going to see the gravel for now. Let's see what we get. It's really annoying. So we got three broken iron ore, which is really good. Now, oh no, that's not broken iron ore, that's broken aluminum ore. Well, we got two broken iron ore. But, what you can do with that is if we go uses, you can do two by two and it turns into iron or gravel. What you can do with iron or gravel is smelt that. Smelt and it will turn into an iron ingot. So we want to do that. Let's go see if anything spawned in here. <coughs> Oops, stuff can spawn up there. Whatever. I'll just make a <coughs> um, wooden sword just in case. Got another achievement. The Phylus. Actually, with this achievement book, which make, reminds me, we can put it in the crafting table like this and it will make an achievement stand. And with that, we can place that down, place it down here, and it's a book on a stand and you can just right click that. So collect rainwater in an oak barrel, we have done that. Craft cobblestone from small stone that drops from seething dirt, done that. Use a hammer to turn cobblestone into gravel. 
gravel into sand, sand into dust. We haven't done that. See, so sift gravel, sand, and dust into it in a sieve. Oh, okay. Um, we're gonna want to do that. But the thing is, you can actually get bone meal from sieving dust. I'm pretty sure. So if we go um, here and we go dust, dust, and this one. Oh wait, we need to go uses. Then it can turn into bone meal. 20% chance drop. Okay, we're saving 32 dust. Let's see what we get. One bone meal already. Another bone meal. Another bone meal. Oh, this is going good. Okay, guys, I'm back and we're almost done saving. And look at that bone meal. We've got 10 bone meal and we only needed 8. That's great. So it turns out we don't really need that mob farm. It'll still be useful, all the stuff we get from it. Bones, bone meal for speeding up growing crops. And rotten flesh, you can actually use drying racks to dry that and get food. But with this bone meal, actually let's see what else we got. Powdered iron, which is so useful because we can actually... Um, get one piece of iron out of this. <laughs> Took me a while to say that. And also, we're gonna break. I'm gonna break these gravel real quick and see if we can get another piece of iron as well. Okay, I'm back, and we got one piece of iron. Ore. We only need one more piece of broken iron ore, and then we will have another ingot. But we can smelt this up. Oh, we don't even have a furnace yet. Oh, and we used all the cobblestone. I'm so stupid. Oh, it doesn't matter. We have a ton of saplings right here. And we can make a ton more dirt. So, yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay, I'm back and we got some dust and what we do with this dust is we put it in here we're gonna put three in these <coughs> take it out by right clicking <coughs> so my voice sounds a bit weird I have a bit of a cough so we got three pieces of that now <coughs> three pieces of clay and we're gonna place this down to turn that into balls Now, what we're going to do with that... Wait, i just clear my throat in a second. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. And... Um... What I was saying is we're going to use this clay. And we're going to get this bone meal. We're going to get eight of it. We're going to mix it with the clay to get porcelain clay and what we're gonna do with that is gonna go like whoop, yeah wait no we're gonna use porcelain clay and we're gonna go like this and we're gonna go like that and I'm gonna get this dirt I was cooking up from before then I just throw it a crook. Pull this stuff away. Um. Now we need a furnace, so I need to sieve some more dirt. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, and we got some cobblestone. Now I'm not gonna make a normal furnace. I'm gonna make a slab furnace because it's two more pieces of cobblestone efficient. So we can get slab furnace. Then 
we can place that. I'm not sure if we can actually place that under here. Can we? No, we can't. Okay, I'm just going to place that here. And put a piece of coal in there. And I'm going to put this unfired crystal in there. Can smelt that right up. And we also need to smelt this. I'm going to make a clay bucket. Unfired clay bucket. And we're going to smelt that. Use the fuel white still there. Fuel white still there. Now what we can do now is we can get a slab actually no, I can break that just put that there can you get a slab I'm gonna put a torch on there So we're going to take this torch and we're going to put that under here or just on there. Then we're going to put our unfired crystal up here and we can stand up here and look in and we're going to put cobblestone in. So we can't put these in but right now that's I think half that's half a um half a bucket of lava cooking up right there. So we need two more pieces of cobblestone and then we'll be set. But I think I'll leave that for the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll do lots of stuff in between episodes. And to end this episode off, let's check the mob farm. Okay, nothing spawned. Oddly, if you know why that is, can you please tell me in the comments? Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Next episode we'll be continuing all this stuff. We'll be doing new things with love. We'll be making cobblestone generator. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.